Important warning. This instruction should not be used without consulting the appropriate manual. Take caution when using and maintaining the machine. Watch out for hot surfaces. In this video, we show you the cleaning procedure which we advise for the Speedster. You will need a soft, clean cotton cloth, a tea towel and some window cleaner, a group brush, blind filters, coffee dissolving powder with a small container, a small glass bottle or something similar, and the group screen extractor. Start with cleaning the steam wand. Milk easily bakes to the hot inner and outer surfaces of the steam wand and tip. Therefore, the steam wand and tip should be cleaned with a damp cloth directly after each use. Do not use this cloth for anything other than the steam wand. We also advise you to purge the steam wand with a little steam after each use to prohibit milk creeping into the pipe. Put the steam wand in hot water, perhaps with some milk cleaner. Any milk remains will soften and after a few minutes, the external remains can be wiped off easily. The internal remains can be purged with steam. If necessary, use the back of the group screen extractor to loosen the tip of the steam wand for extra cleaning. Never scrape, grind or cut the wand or tip since this leads to damage resulting in a rougher surface which milk adheres to more easily. Continue with cleaning the stainless steel filter holder and basket. Remove the filter holder from the group and pry out the filter basket using the group screen extractor. Clean them under the tap with the group brush. Don't use any abrasive material since this will make the surface rougher and make cleaning harder. Continue with taking out the group screen and gasket. Use the group screen extractor to remove the group screen from the group. Place the pointed edge of the tool in the rim of the group screen. Do not puncture the group screen. Lever the extractor under the banjo ring. Gently pry left and right, the screen will become loose or even fall out together with the group seal. Remove the group seal from the group screen and rinse under the tap. Soak the metal part of the filter holder, the filter basket and the group screen in a solution of coffee dissolving powder and hot water for 10 minutes. For the correct amount, please check the instructions on the product. Keep the plastic handle out of the solution since this may eventually damage it. The stainless steel filter holders should not be cleaned in a dishwasher. Continue with cleaning the groups. With the filter holder removed, flush the group for approximately 5 seconds. Clean the inside of the group using the plastic group brush and a tea towel while using the group screen extractor. Although our group rings remain flexible, always check for damage and replace if necessary. Once the 10 minutes have passed, rinse the filter holder, filter basket and group screen under the tap. Now place the group screen and gasket back into the group. The top edge of the group seal has a somewhat more rounded profile. Make sure this rounded side is inserted upwards into the group. Place the group screen and seal on an empty filter holder without basket and insert it into the group, pushing upwards. Turn the filter holder in the banjo to press the group seal into the group. Remove the clean filter holder from the group and put a blind filter in. Scoop the recommended amount of coffee dissolving powder 
into the filter holder with the blind filter and lock it into the group. Now backflush the group six times. Activate the pump by putting the brew lever in its lowest position. Wait for a few seconds until the nine bar is reached as shown on the right hand pressure gauge. Deactivate the group by moving the brew lever to the top position. Wait until the pre-infusion shaft has returned to its low position, then reactivate. Repeat this another five times. The back flushing procedure needs to be repeated without the coffee dissolving powder. This time, empty and rinse the blind filter in between back flushing. Now use the tea towel and window cleaner to clean the body panels. Please note that these parts might be warm, therefore it is wise to spray on the cloth and immediately dry afterwards to prevent stripes. Resistant smudges on high gloss panels may be removed with silver polish and a soft cloth. Caution: High gloss panels scratch easily. It takes a few minutes for the boilers to warm up. Please note that it is essential to run the program twice, first with cleaning powder and then without, to prevent remnants of cleaning powder setting between the plunger and housing of the three-way group valve. Pry the blind filter from the filter holder and replace the filter basket. To finish off, clean the drip tray and grill. Finally, you can put the machine into eco mode if you are not planning on using it for a while. Press and hold the set eco button on each temperature controller for six seconds until the display shows eco. The machine will now cool off to approximately half its functioning temperature. Repeat this procedure to put the machine back into operational mode It takes approximately 10 minutes for the boilers to warm up. Your machine is now thoroughly prepared for the next shift.